Hello and welcome to By Excellence Tutorials. And in this video, we are going to solve a question under dynamics. We are aware that when we are talking of dynamics, we are, we are talking about motion and also considering the cause of that motion. So in dynamics, we deal much about, uh, with forces and uh, Newton's, second, uh, Newton's laws of motion. So a two kg box rests on a plank that is inclined at an angle of 65 degrees above the horizontal. The upper end of the box is attached to a spring with a force constant of 360 Newton per meter as shown in the figure. So I don't have a, a figure here, but I've tried to, to illustrate there. If the coefficient of static friction between the box and the plank is 0.22, what is the maximum amount the spring can be stretched and the box remains at rest? Okay, so we, we have that illustration there, uh, here below my, my face, okay. Now, so the angle we have is 65 degrees, okay. So we have first to identify the forces acting on this box, okay. So now we are going to see that we have this force, which happens to be the weight of the, the box. And then we are going to have also since this box is put on an inclined plane, there is an angle. So the weight has to be resolved, okay? And this weight, uh, let me write it like this. This weight we know that is mg, okay? So this weight is supposed to be resolved, okay? And then there we go. So we have the vertical component, which happens to be mg cos theta. And also the horizontal component, which is mg sine theta. Okay, we are going to replace the theta. We know that theta is 65 degrees. And then in the vertical here again, we have the normal force of this box. Now, the other side, we are going to discover that we also have the friction force in this direction. Okay, we have that friction force. And then you see that we have a spring here uh, where the, in the direction of friction force, we have the spring. So in the spring, we are going to find the force that we call restoring force. Okay, now, uh, so I'll name this other force in the spring to be, to be, okay, restoring force. So F, the subscript R, show that it's the restoring force. So now, and, and by the way, and this force, uh, restoring force is given by K, I'm changing x and k is the spring constant, whilst x is the 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 extension. Okay, so we can now apply the Newton second law of motion. Now we know that the summation of forces in the y. We don't have acceleration in the vertical; will be equal to zero. So the forces we have in the Y, in the vertical, we have the normal force minus mg cos theta equal to zero. Okay, so we can replace theta, of course. So we're going to have normal force being equal to mg okay, cos theta, which is equal to mass is two kg. And then we have the gravitational acceleration, 8.9.81. And then we have cos 65. So the normal force we are going to have is
Okay, so the normal force that we have is 8.3 Newton. So that is going to be the, our normal force. So since we found the normal force, we can also quickly find the friction force because we know that there is a relationship between the normal force and the friction force. And this relationship is given by a friction force being equal to nu by normal force of which nu we've been given uh, to be 0 0.22 multiplying by the normal force 8.3 we get we get 1.8 1.82 newton so this is the friction force 1.82 newton now we go to the forces of in the horizontal direction. So the summation, okay, let me write it from here. The summation of forces in the X. Now we've been taught to say, as we are stretching the spring, the box will remain at rest. So there'll be no acceleration even in the horizontal direction, thereby giving us zero. Okay, so the summation of forces will be equal to zero. So the forces that we have, as we'll be stretching, we'll be stretching this string downwards, okay, in this direction, the direction of mg sine theta. So we're going to have mg sine theta. And in the other direction, we have minus the restoring force minus the friction force and this giving us zero. So we, we can substitute or we can say, okay, mg sine theta minus kx minus friction force equal to zero. Okay, so we can group this of which we're going to have we're going to have kx being equal to mg sine theta minus friction force like that, of which our x is going to be mg sine theta minus friction force over k. Okay, so now we can just now substitute. So we can substitute here. Change in x, mg is two by 9.81. And then we have sine 65. So I'm going to erase something here. Half space. Okay, sine 65. And then we have minus friction force we found to be 8.2. Okay, and then we have out of K, we've been given to be 360 Newton per meter. Okay, so this is going to give us seventeen point seven eight. Okay, minus one point eight two over 360, of which this is going to give us 15.96 over 360. Okay, so what we're going to have here now is the change in X to be 0 0.043 
going to be 0 0.4433. This is in meters. So you can even convert that. Okay, so the maximum amount the spring is going to stretch is going to be 4.43 centimeters. So this is how you calculate the maximum amount the spring can be stretched. Uh, is such a question. So if you have found this video to be helpful, kindly share it, like, and comment to give me a feedback. And if you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.